Hey everybody, it's Scott. Uh, what I thought I'd do today is walk through a, a quick hit technique for skin retouching. Uh, I got into a conversation recently where someone was asking uh, about how to retouch skin fast when they only have a few moments to work on every image because they have a great many to go through. So uh, one of the easiest things you can do is remove red from areas of the face, whether they say a lot of pimples or marks or rosacea, uh, a lot of different blotchiness. I mean, this happens in newborn photography. It happens all over the place. And I think removing red is really the easiest thing you can do. And you can do it in a few seconds, and it makes a huge impact. Now, instead of showing you some girl who's got a lot of pimples, and then um, I have to deal with the aftermath of, of that, uh, what I do is I'm going to take a picture of April here who has great skin, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove some of the red from her cheeks. It's the exact same technique, but I don't get in trouble by showing you a picture of a model that has a lot of pimples and then I hear about it later. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you this picture. Uh, so we're gonna do the exact, you're gonna do the exact same technique on your photo that you have. So feel free to follow along and we'll work, work our way through this. So this is done with one adjustment layer and it's seriously a five to 10 second adventure. When you get quick at it, you can do it very quickly, but there's a couple caveats and we'll talk about those as we go through it. So what it is, we're gonna add a hue and saturation adjustment layer. Now I am I love these little buttons down here. I don't leave the panel up for that because it just takes a lot of space. Uh, so what we do is we bring up hue and saturation adjustment and we're gonna go to red, which is the offending color in this case. Now these cheeks also have colors other than red. So when we do this technique, it's not gonna pull them all the way out. Just be aware of that, but for a pimple or blotchiness and newborn skin or anything like that, this is going to work just fine. It works on arms and legs too. I mean, it works anywhere where you've got a color that is uh, offensive. So if it may be a blue, it may be a green or whatever. In this case, it's red. Uh, so she's got a little tiny pimple up here and she's got these red in her cheeks. And you're going to notice that there's oftentimes red around earlobes or in the inner ear. Uh, we'll get some around the nose, the, the nostrils and the sides, uh, sometimes up under the eyebrow. So these are areas that are gonna become obvious as we go through this technique. So the first thing we do is again, we turn it to the color red, and then we're gonna take our plus eyedropper and we're gonna click on what we seem feel is the most offensive red within uh, normal ranges. Now we're not gonna go for like the deepest, darkest part of her lip here because it's gonna throw off our entire method, but we're gonna pick this cheek. So we're gonna pick right in the middle of the cheek kind of area. And we're gonna, what we're doing is we're adjusting these tolerances down here by using these eyedroppers. And we're gonna click on the minus eyedropper and we're gonna pick an area of our face that is n the normal color, uh, normal amount of red that we wanna see. So we'll just pick right here, for instance. And you see it's kind of adjusted it. So these in, inside braces here are the areas that are the colors we're looking to remove. And then we have this kind of fuzziness, you know, anything on, that's kind of within this zone. So how do we know if it worked? How do we know if we have the right areas of red? Uh, what I do, and this looks very alien, but works very well, is just take the hue slider and pull it all the way over. And it's going to change. And you see we got some on her ear now. We have some on her nose, up center of the nostril, forehead, her palm of her hand. So all these areas are areas that have a red in them. Now, is it too red? Is it not red enough? Uh, as we get to the blue, these are the most red areas, and it kind of fades out. So you see the strange little rainbow color is showing us the degree of red uh, that we've outlined. And we can change that by grabbing these little ears and pulling them around. Say we want more of the image, you could pull it out. Or if it grabbed too much, we can pull it in. Uh, so we can adjust the tolerance. So let's say let's write about here. And we're gonna say this is good enough. So now what we do is we put it back to normal. And we do is we pull it up and I, usually about 18 or so um, works for most images. So, I mean, in this case, we can pull it even farther, but you shouldn't see like that. Okay, uh, duh, you've gone too far. Uh, so let's just pull it into here and it should blend in with the rest of her skin. You know you've done it right. Like this pimple is gone because it was red. It wasn't a pimple. It was just a red blotch uh, because a pimple really, if you think about it, is mostly a big angry red area with a little tiny mark in the middle. So if you remove that, sometimes if you're casting shadows, depending on your light, you have a little bit more work to do. But if you remove that red, it's a quick hit. A lot of that problem will be gone with the skin. Now, we do have a couple problems with this technique. The first one is that it hits her lips and she is wearing a, a red outfit. Well, it's not red anymore, is it? So we're gonna take on the mask, we're gonna pick our brush, we're gonna pick color black, and we're gonna paint out the effect of that hue. And we're gonna pick her lips as well. And you can tell I'm taking my time, right? No, I'm just big meaty fist type of retouching here. Because at the end of the day, we're only removing a little bit of red and we just need to make sure that it's on the parts that we mean to have it on. You know, we don't want it on the, on, on the zets of the pimples or the 
the splotchiness. So if she had any blotchiness in her skin, it's gone. I mean, it, it's gone with this technique. So we can actually turn this on and off, and you can see the hue uh, on her arm shifts, shifts slightly. So you'll do have a little bit of a hue shift. Now, this is a pretty aggressive. As I say, I like to do 18 normally. Where did we go here? We went 26. So it's really pushing it toward green. Uh, so that's just a little bit much. But again, it's demonstrating the technique. Palm of her hands, a lot less red. Now, if we were looking to remove this, I'd probably do it again only for the palm of her hand uh, because we don't want so much red to remove that her skin is shifting to a different color. And she doesn't look real healthy right now either. So we've gone a little bit overboard with it, but the technique is the same. So let's do it again just to show you how to do it. So pretend she's got pimples, all right? So we're going to do hue and saturation adjustment layer and move it off her face. We're going to pick color red. Pick the plus side dropper, pick an offensive red color, pick the minus side dropper, pick a normal red color, and then shift this over and see what's affected. And then push it all the way back once we're happy to whatever you find to be your happy mark. And again, you'll know because it varies. Your skin temperature varies. Everything varies. It should blend in. And there we go. That will remove all of the red from any pimples that she would have had. And then again, we take the mask with the color black and we just paint back in the lips and whatever else we want to be red because now that that hue and saturation adjustment layer no longer affects that area of the image so you can see i don't, you don't have to be super careful with masking stuff back in um i was just a big meatball with it here and it works just fine now if i, I need to is for a client to be a lot more careful but the changes we made are not ham-fisted but they make a huge difference if you have little pimples so try this technique on someone who has bad acne and see what you think. I mean, it, it will make a big difference and it takes a couple of seconds to apply. And once you get it down to a science, now I don't have an action for this. I simply don't use actions a lot. So, uh, and there's really no action that you could do on this. I mean, you're just simply putting a hue and saturation adjustment layer, picking red, picking the plus and picking the minus and then fiddling with it. So each image has its own settings and you can't really you know, make that down into a, a standard. I mean, I guess you could if you're working with the same model and you have 10,000 pictures that are similar, then maybe you could come up with copying this layer around, but uh, that's a subject for another day. So hope this is helpful and give it a try. And if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to put them in the comments.